place objects in 3ds max in a few clicks let's see how to speed up our work also using some hidden parameters you probably don't know For this video, I selected these objects from the Chaos Cosmos library. By placing these objects on the table with the simple tool Move, I will need to make many micro adjustments, wasting time and precision. Instead of Move, we can use Select and Place, much faster and more accurate. Let's see how it works. You only need to activate the Select and Place, click on the model you want to move and drag it on a surface. As you can see, the object attaches to any surface we hover, even here on the side of the wall. And releasing the objects on the table surface, it is accurately placed using the Gizmo as the alignment point. This is the primary reason for such precise alignment. Indeed, all Cosmos models, as you can see, have the Gizmo correctly aligned with the base, which is why this tool works perfectly by default. It should be noted, however, that sometimes models do have the Gizmo elsewhere, and this would require additional adjustments. Fortunately, this task can also be done quickly. We right-click on the Select and Place icon, and from this additional window we select Use Base as Pivot. Once you have activated this function, the base or the lowest polygon of the object will align with the underlined surface. As you can see, all objects have been aligned along the Z-axis, and this option is the correct one when positioning objects facing upwards. But not all objects have this direction. For example, a wall or ceiling lamp works differently. Let's start with this wall lamp. If we use the default Z plus alignment, it will place it incorrectly. Here, we must choose the Y-axis, which is the normal of its base. Y plus orientates the lamp as if it were outside the house, so in this case Y minus is appropriate. For a ceiling light instead, Z is the correct axis, but since the object is facing downwards, we'll use Z minus. The Select and Place tool can also be used to solve common problems like flying objects or objects that do not rest correctly on surfaces. For example, if you notice that the table is not correctly touching the floor, you can use this tool to align it perfectly. I activate Select and Place, I click on the table and reposition it as before. Now the table is correctly aligned with the floor. But beware, by repositioning the table, all the objects on it might become detached, so we should to realign them. We can solve these two with just few clicks with another tip. Let's start over. If you already know that these objects must stay on the table, you can use the Auto Parent option. With this option active, every object placed on the table will become a child of the table in terms of position. In other words, the objects are free to move, but if you move the table, the connected objects will move with it. Imagine now that, like before, the table is not properly touching the floor. Well, thanks to the Auto Parent option, you can now select it, put it in correct position, and now all the objects will keep in contact with the surface of the table following its movements. If you like my content, watch more following these suggestions.